Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about types of dams. A dam is a structure built across a stream or river to hold water back. Dams can be used to store water, control flooding, and generate electricity. One, embankment dam, constructed from compacted soil, earth fill, or rock, rock fill, with an impervious core. Designed to transfer the entire water load downward. 80% of all large dams in the U.S. are embankment dams. Used to retain water across wide river valleys or for flood control. Typically shorter and wider than other types of dams. Types of embankment dams 1. Earth fill embankments 2. Rock fill embankments 2. Gravity dam Constructed of concrete or stone masonry. Designed to transfer the entire water load downward. Typically span narrow river valleys with bedrock abutments and foundations. Retain water by utilizing the weight of the dam to resist the horizontal water load pushing against it. Each section of the dam is independently stable. Types of gravity dams 1. Concrete gravity dam. 2. Composite gravity dam. Arch dam. Constructed of concrete. Designed to transfer water loads to the adjacent rock formations. Constructed only in canyons with solid rock walls that can resist the pressure of the dam. Because the canyon walls bear the bulk of the load, arch dams are thinly constructed, requiring less material than other types of dams. Types of buttress dams 1. Constant radius arch dam. 2. Variable radius arch dam. 3. Constant angle arch dam. 3. Buttress dam. Constructed of reinforced concrete. Designed to transfer the water load both downward and to the buttresses. Hollow gravity dams with a solid upstream face and a buttress downstream side. Buttresses are supports that transmit the water force to a bedrock foundation. Types of buttress dams 1. Deck slab buttress dam 2. Multiple arch buttress dam 3. Massive head buttress dam 4. Multiple dome buttress dam 5. Columnar buttress dam Components of dam A. Crest. The top of the dam, in some cases used provide for to provide a roadway or walkway over the dam. B. Heel. The part of the dam in contact with the ground on the upstream side. C. Toe. The part of the dam in contact with the ground on the downstream side. D. Foundation, excavated surface, or undisturbed. E. Spillway, structure that provides for controlled conveyance of water flows downstream of the dam. F. Gallery, small room within large dams used to monitor the performance of the dam, with a drain on the floor for water seepage. G. Outlet, also called sluiceway, used to release water from the reservoir for water supply, irrigation, and hydropower. H. Blow-off, opening within the dam near the base to drain the reservoir. I. Freeboard, vertical distance between the spillway level and the crest of the dam. J. Pervious material, substances that allow water to pass through. K. 
impervious material, substances that do not allow water to pass through. Hope this video was useful for you. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions using the comments below. We will love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.